Hello guys, good afternoon. Okay, so welcome ulit sa ating YouTube channel. And learning lesson muna tayo guys for today sa video ng ito. Samantalain natin while the market still silent o tahimik yung ating PSEI or yung ating local market. So it's an opportunity to learn something new and to add something information na makatulong sa ating trading journey. Okay, so ito. Si Vanguard AI guys, yung ating titingnan natin ngayon ito. So ito yung pinaka lately na ibinigay sa atin ng mga kapwa nating trader diyan. Nako, thank you sa inyo, sir. Maraming maraming salamat sa effort niyo at binahagi nito sa amin ng free. Okay, so siya nga pala, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga subscribers diyan. Yan, thank you pala at take note guys, always hit the notification bell para ma-notify tayo if ever na may mga bagong videos tayo na na-upload. Okay, so ito si Vanguard AI guys at mayroon siyang mga features dito yan silipin lang natin guys uh, simple information lang yung video ito para sa ating application na si Vanguard AI so mayroon tayong backtest screener dashboard mayroon tayong mga chart dito so pwede tayong makapag-generate ng multiple chart dyan also the same time we can generate our watch list and layout so may mga uh, default layout sya dyan na nilagay na So, meron tayong screener 1 layout, screener 2, Alma, and Gun. Okay, so, papiyawin natin yan mamaya. And, let's start. Kung ano ba, paano ba tayo mag-backtest using our Vanguard AI. Okay, so, let's start. Okay, so, sa backtest, sa pagbabacktest natin using Vanguard AI. So, dyan, nakikita natin yung backtest dyan. So, check, click lang natin yan. And, first, we... Uh, may mga parameters tayo dito So, pwede tayong mag-set ng ating parameters dyan Okay, so for example, I can generate uh, I can use 100,000 as my capital Maximum, ayan So, naglagay ako dyan ng 50,000 And our minimum for trade is 20,000 So, yan yung sinet ko And I can set also kung hanggang kailan ko ibabacktest So, from what day should I backtest of a certain stock. Okay, so yan. Take note guys, pwede nyo i-check ito kasi yung application uh, I think hindi siya naka-check pa so you can just take this for open pricing siya para makita yung next buy and sell candle using a the certain strategy. Okay, so mayroon tayong load script dito so i-click natin yan. Ayan, so mayroon siyang default na nakalagay dyan sa ating application na Vanguard AI. Yan, so pwede tayong may mga choices tayo dyan And the same time, makikita natin yung script na nakalagay dyan So pwede natin i-edit yan guys Okay, so pwede tayong mag-modify, magdagdag Or magbawas sa mga uh, setup na nandito Okay, so pwede nyo i-test dyan And if ever na mayroon kayong idagdag So you, it's possible Directly na pwede kayong mag Uh, dagdag yan. Kagaya ng ginawa ko dito guys, meron tayong Marcy System. Ito yung default na nilagay nila. So, nagbawas ako dito kasi may nailagay dito which is not not that hindi uh, ganun kalaki yung uh, difference. Okay, so yung result ng setup na to sa setup na is very very minimal yung result. Okay, so walang pagkakaiba. So, still good. Okay, so tinanggal ko lang yung isa which is not that uh, affect the system. Okay, so ating setup. Okay, so still you can use this Marcy system na nandito. Ito yung ating Marcy setup. Okay, so naglagay din ako dito ng volume. Okay, so ginamit ko to. Mayroon tayong dalawang volume dito for my screening lang. Okay, so yung original kasi wala tayong volume na nilagay. Same with the Marcy system na nandito. So walang volume na naka-indicate dyan kasi... Yung default talaga ng Marcy setup is just only the parameters without the volume kasi minsan gusto kong mag uh, mag position. Okay, so may mga magagandang stocks kasi na low volume siya. So yun yung opportunity para ayun na. Mag position tayo. Okay, so dumarating talaga yung point na yung isang stock ay eh, nagiging low volume siya. So hindi ko yung pinapalagtas minsan. Kaya mayroon akong original dyan without volume parameters and also dumarating din sa point na gusto ko yung momentum or may slight momentum na so ayan naglalagay ako ng volume okay for screening and mayroon akong nakita na ginamit siya ng average volume average of 80 
Okay, so you can do or you can just add, explore para makapag-set up kayo ng sarili nyong strategy, guys. Okay, so pwede kayong mag-save as dyan. Kung sakaling nag-edit kayo, then save nyo. Then just uh, name it with your correct file name. With your proper file name. Okay, so yan, guys. Uh, yan, for example, kunin natin yung Mars system dito. I-load script natin. Yan, so lumabas na siya dyan. Okay, so if ever na set na natin yung ating parameters, then punta tayo dito sa stocks. And... Okay, so stock list. So, ano ba yung mga stocks na naging trending lately? Okay, so try natin si ASEN. So, magpalabas tayo ng lima guys para matest natin kung effective ba or okay ba yung result ng ating setup. For example guys, yung ating Marcy. Okay, so and another one is si EPL. Yan si, si EPL. Naging top trending din yan. And si Dito. Ayan, si Dito. Favorito ng masa yan. <laughs> okay, so next si PHA. Ayan, malakas din to. And si BSC. Ayan, so tingnan natin guys. So 1, 2, ayan. So mayroon tayong 5 stocks na lately na naging trending sa ating market. Okay, so silipin natin ngayon. So kapag okay na, so we just click the okay and wait for the result. Okay guys, so ayan, makikita natin dito yung percent of gains and loss natin. Ayan, so so far so good naman yung result na pinakita doon sa mga stocks gamit yung ating setup na pinili guys. So ito yung Marcy system. And dito makikita natin dito yung informations about the key metrics, portfolio performances. Okay, so makikita din natin yung number of trades. Okay, so ilang trades tayo, average trades per month. So ayan. And win rate, makita rin natin. And the same time, yung ating losses and gains. Yan, guys. So, yan. Diyan natin makikita yung paano natin mag-backtest using our Vanguard AI application, guys. Okay, so we can also try another one for backtest. And hindi ito mabubura, guys. So, you can easily perform or compare sa kung ano yung mga mas better na performance based doon sa na backtest nyo. Okay, so for example, mag backtest tayo dito ulit. So gamitin na lang din natin yung isa. For example, si Original Marcy. Okay, so para makita lang natin yung difference and check natin yung same stocks, si ASEN and EPL EPL and BSC then si PHA and si dito. Okay, so si dito. Tama. Ayan. Okay, so iparan lang natin. So, makikita natin na, uh, ayan, so 201 doon sa original. And the other one is 200. So, tumaas siya ng kaunti doon sa original. Pero sa pagdating sa PHA, so mas mataas yung ating system, yung original default. So, 94. Okay, so almost the same lang guys. So, hindi siya masyadong ganong kalayo yung difference ng output nila o yung result. Okay, so yan, pwede nyo mapag-compare. So, unlimited yan guys, gaya ng sinabi na unlimited yung pag-information uh, natin kapag nag-backtest and screening tayo. Okay, so again, just click the dashboard again. Okay, so proceed naman tayo doon sa ating screener. So, paano ba tayo mag-screen gamit yung ating Vanguard AI? Yan, so click lang natin ulit yan. At dito mapapansin nyo guys, sabi dito is group name. Okay, so pwede kayong gumawa dyan guys. So ayan, may mga test ako dyan. <laughs> okay, so dito mga group names. So dito sa screen 1 and screen 2, may mga uh, group na yan. So it's either 4 or 3 uh, setup na nandyan. So pwede nyo makita yan guys. Okay, so pwede kayong gumawa ng, for example, pwede tayong gumawa ng screening using our Marcy setup alone. So from the slot 1, kung gamitin natin to for example, gamit tayo ng Marcy 1 and load natin yung script oh, so palabasin natin kung anong setup na gagamitin natin so mayroon tayong Marcy system dito i-load lang natin yan and that's it na-field na niya yung information na nandito or kung gusto nyo dalawa so you can just select the number 2 and what which script are you going to use okay so yan and then just uh Okay, so save and close. You just save and close. So mayroon tayong 
Marcy 1. Okay, so save and close natin yan. And, okay, so i-close natin. And then, go to screener para lang ma-refresh, guys. So, nandito na yung ating Marcy 1. And, go to our watch list. Okay, so, pili natin yung all. And, okay. So, yan, guys. So, palabasin lang natin yung all. Okay, and we can run the screener now using our Marcy 1 na ginawa natin as our screening screener. Okay, so ayan. Lumabas na dito si Marcy 1. Itong isa is yung ating screener to yata to. I think ito yung layout. So si screener to, pwede nating i-compare yan dyan. So nandito si screener to. Nandito naman si screener 1. So ito yung ating screener 1. Ah, uh, all my screener, sorry. So, screener 1, screener 2, ayan. So, ito yung naka-group, guys. Okay, so, ito yung ating Marcy 1. So, we can just, pwede natin yung i-delete. Ayan. Para makita natin kung ano yung mga na screen ng ating stock na si, ay, ng ating application na si Vanguard based doon sa ating setup na pinili. Okay, so, mayroon tayong mga buy and sell dyan information. So, ganun. Ganun lang, guys. So, or you can just select yung screener natin for example you can just select screener 2 so makikita nyo dyan yung uh, group of screener ayan ayan natin so ayan medyo matagal so ito yung screener 2 so different types of kanya yan setup na nandyan guys so pwede nyo i-maximize yan para makita nyo so nandyan yung stochastic mars system mac over mac d crossover MA crossover. So, mapag-compare nyo dyan guys kung ano yung mga buy and sell. For example, sa Marcy system. So, ang iba mayroong buy pero dito usually dito sa ating Marcy system is nakabuy na siya. Okay. So, pwede kayong pumili dyan and check the stocks. Okay. So, for example, pinili nyo dyan si House. So, automatic makikita nyo dito yung candle or you can just open uh, Investagram. Okay. Sa, sa ating kaibigan na si Investagram. So, pwede nyo tingnan yung chart doon and also that okay so yan si screener guys and also if you want to have a multiple chart so you just click this ayan so mayroon tayong chart dyan so pwede nyo i-adjust yan adjust nyo na lang guys so depende sa laki na gusto nyo ayan so pwede kayong mag multiple chart dyan ayan so ayan so para kung gusto nyo makita yung chart ng iba't ibang stocks in a single uh, frame. Yan, guys. Okay, so, yan, si chart. And also, guys, kung gusto nyo mag-layout, so, pwede kayong pum pumili, pumili doon sa kanilang default. Ayan, so, mayroon tayong default dyan. So, pwede nyo piliin yan. Yan, so, yan yung mga layout na naka-save dito. And, mayroon tayong screener. Kung gusto nyo makita yung screener to. Yan kita nyo yung different uh, setup na mayroon dito. Okay, so nandito yung ating Marcy. Yan. So, ito naman is I think it's from Stochastic, I think. Yeah, Stochastic, Marcy and MACD crossover and MA crossover. Okay, so ayan. So, minsan lang silang naipakita in a frame. Okay, so yan. So, hopefully guys na may natutunan kayo. It's just simple only. Okay, so pwede kayong din mag Right click dito guys, pwede nyo i-right click For example, punta kayo sa dashboard Right click nyo and you can just edit the script dyan Or right click, you can just add some information For example, text So pwede kayong maglagay ng text dyan Okay, kung ano yung mga gusto nyo ilagay na information So just simply right click Yan Okay, so in all indicators So dyan naman, dyan, dyan May kita natin yan dito ito talaga ang pinaka magandang features dito ni VI yung pinaka highlight niya dito is yung multiple chart yung back testing screening so ito pa lang as solid na solid na and the others like this layout is kana to uh, bonus natin to <laughs> okay guys so yun lang hopefully na may natutunan kayo for just simple information pa paggamit ng ating Vanguard AI so if ever na hindi nyo gamay o hindi nyo, wala kayong knowledge sa paglagay ng script. So, you just go to their Facebook group or Facebook page. So, you can just uh, PM them. Okay? So, pwede nyo i-message sila uh, at mag-request. So, ganun sila ka bait guys. 
<laughs> Ay, so napakabait at yung time na binibigay nila is very very uh, deserving na ma- ma-appraise yung kanilang application. Okay, so thank you sa inyo guys. So pili niyo uh, message niyo lang sila guys kung gusto niyo magpa-script ng setup na naisip niyo. Uh, I'm sure na ibibigay sa inyo 'yan kagad. Hala, bilis nilang mag-response. <laughs> thank you sa inyo mga sir. And also guys, uh, if ever man na matapos na kayo na mag backtest or mag screen or tapos nyo na yung gusto nyo exit yung application, I suggest it's better na i-close nyo guys yung mga previous, uh, itong mga naka-open nyo. Okay, so for example yan, i-close nyo yan. Okay, so it's better na i-close nyo yan. Yan. Kasi once na nag-open yan guys, so pag nag-open siya, hindi niya ilo-load yung mga previous na ka-open. Kasi kung naka-open yan guys, ilo-load niya yan. Once na i-open nyo ulit yung application, ilo-load nyo ulit yung previous na naka-open. So, mayroong time na nagagamit but it's better na tanggalin na lang kung gusto nyo uh, mabilis yung load. Or if ever man na uh, gusto nyo nakapalabas na lahat yon so it's okay. Medyo uh, may time lang na adjustment lang sa time sa pag-open. Okay, so suma total is the best. Okay to, the best at lupit yung ating stock, uh, ating uh, application na to, si Vanguard AI. So thank you sa inyo mga boss and keep up the good work. Okay, so God bless sa inyo.